Skeptics Review the Bible by John Smith. Leviticus chapter 16. Guess what, heathens? It's Atonement Day. Yay, special day. Do you know how to celebrate Atonement Day? I'm about to tell you. Lord Yahweh spake to me again, as he often does, and it was right after Brother Aaron's sons were killed by Lord Yahweh for lighting the wrong kind of fire, remember? Anyway, Lord Yahweh said, tell Brother Aaron that he can't come into the holy place of Lord Yahweh's special tent unless Lord Yahweh says so. Otherwise, Lord Yahweh will kill him. Lord Yahweh says, get a bull and a ram. Then, Brother Aaron is to put on the special clothes. But he has to take a bath first. Also, he needs two baby male goats. I think they're called kids. Brother Aaron is to sacrifice the bull for his own sins. And the sins of his house. Then, Brother Aaron is to bring the two baby goats to Lord Yahweh's special tent. He is to cast lots for those two goats. One of those goats, Brother Aaron is to slaughter for Lord Yahweh. The other goat is a scapegoat that gets all the sins put upon it and gets sent alone into the wilderness. Go free, goat. Carry our sins with you. Go to Azazel. Brother Aaron is to sacrifice the bull for his own sins and the sins of his household. Then Brother Aaron has permission to make a special fire to Lord Yahweh behind the holy curtain in Lord Yahweh's special tent. Sacrifice, blood, sprinkle, sprinkle seven times. Then Brother Aaron slaughters the goat for the sins of the people. Slaughter, blood, sprinkle, sprinkle. And that is for the sins of the people's rebellions to Lord Yahweh. Stupid people. No one can go in or out of Lord Yahweh's tent when Brother Aaron is in there. Then, Brother Aaron is to come out of the tent and sprinkle more blood on the horns of the altar seven times. Why? Because Lord Yahweh said so, that's why. Stop asking stupid questions. Then Brother Aaron is to lay his hands on the head of the live goat. All of the sins are now transferred to the scapegoat. Stupid scapegoat, into the wilderness you go. Straight to Azazel. Then Brother Aaron needs to take off his special clothes inside Lord Yahweh's special tent and leave them there. Then he needs to put on his regular clothes. Also, you are all forbidden to do any work. Then you will be clean of all your sins. Aren't you glad that Lord Yahweh let you celebrate Atonement Day? I know I am. Hey, minions. I've been told I look more smarter with a pipe, so I'm trying it out. Okay, so you might be asking... Who is this Azazel that Moses keeps talking about? Well, I'm here to tell you. In some of the traditions of the three Abrahamic faiths, Azazel is a fallen angel or a demon. In some versions of the Bible, instead of using Azazel as the name of a person or thing, they just use the scapegoat instead. In the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Book of Enoch, Azazel is one of those watchers which I guess was one of those rock people in that terrible Noah movie that I just reviewed. You know, the one that had Gladiator and Labyrinth Chick and Hermione and Percy Jackson in it. There's also some reference in the Book of Enoch that Azazel was one of those angels that had sexy time with human women back in Genesis. And he brought men, weapons, and cosmetics apparently, and was cast out of heaven for it. Kind of like that one dude in Greek mythology who brought humans fire and was chained to a rock and birds ate his liver or something. So the angel Raphael bound Azazel and threw him in darkness, I guess. In the apocalypse of Abraham, Azazel 
was one of the birds of prey who came to bother Abraham and steal his dead meat that he had prepared as a sacrifice for God. Some people even say that I am Azazel, but then other people say that can't be right because then I would be bearing all of your sins away like the goat. And that was a J-man's job. Anyway, lots and lots of TV shows and movies and comic books portray Azazel as a totally different fallen angel or demon from me. So what more proof do you need? There you go. Hope you learned something today, minions. Now go enjoy the rest of your atonement day. Have a burger or a brat or something. You earned it.